friends. So today we are going to talk about something called signposts. Uh, can anyone think of what a signpost might be? A stop sign? Okay. What does a stop sign tell you to do? To stop, right? What other post signs can you see or signposts do you see? Besides a stop sign, what else? What is it? Yield? Yeah. Anything else that you can think of? Sign, so any kind of sign. Any kind of signs. Or we use that sometimes. Yeah, like dogs. What does a dog allowed sign tell you? You can bring your dog, right? With the neighborhood, you know, like clean up the stuff. <laughs> so each sign tells you, points you in a certain direction, right? So the stop sign tells you to stop, the yield sign tells you to yield, the dogs allowed or pets allowed sign tells you that pets are allowed. So each sign marks something clear for you to go in that direction in thinking or physically, right? Now, for our purposes, we're talking about signposts and reading and listening. So one thing that's typically hard is to kind of try to figure out where the conversation is going if you don't understand the full conversation, right? So if, it's, if you're not understanding everything, you feel like it's hard to follow along. Yes? Yeah, maybe. Okay, I see some people shaking their hands and uh, their heads, so that's good. The idea is that throughout the talk, or when someone is talking, or when you're reading something, it becomes easier for you to know where you are in the conversation if you pay attention to something called signposts in reading and in thinking, uh, in reading and in speaking. Okay. So these are words and phrases that help guide the reader or the listener through content to make sure that the message is understandable and so that you can figure out what we are talking about or what we are reading, okay? So remember last time we talked about word uh, uh, formation. So we talked about prefixes and suffixes. Those help you with the reading. Now we have something else that can help us with the reading, and that is the sign post. And we'll talk about that in a minute. All right, so what is the sign post? A sign post is a language in language is a word and a phrase that people use in order to guide the listener coherently through what is being said. So for example, you can say, if we're starting the conversation, we can say, today I will talk about. That tells you that we're talking about a certain topic, right? When I start saying, first of all, that usually means that there is more than one point I'm trying to make. So that tells you as you listen, as you hear, first of all, you you're going to pay attention to multiple reasons, right? First of all, second of all, third of all, right? And so on. So these are called signposts and they help guide you to where the conversation is going. For example, if we are towards the end of our conversation and I say, so it was nice talking to you, that so will tell you that we're almost done with the conversation. Or you can say, all right, then. When someone says, all right, then you typically know that they want to leave. Yeah? Okay, so these are what we're going to be looking at and what we're going to be looking for.
So it is used to make clear what has just happened and what is going to happen. That's why we use signposts, okay? We use them to make clear what happened and what is going to happen. So you can say, at the end of the day, if you don't show up to class, then you fail. At the end of the day, if you don't show up to class, you don't learn anything. That, at the end of the day, summarizes or bring us back into the conclusion. Okay? Cool? Make sense? All right. Why are they important? They are important because if your listening skills are weaker, then they should be because you will they should be important because you will easily get lost if you don't know where you are. Think of them as a map, okay? On your GPS, you can't see the tall building, but you can see that there's a building, right? If you look at Google Maps, you can't see what's on, what color the house is on the corner, but you can see the corner and you can see the house, yeah? It's kind of like, this is your GPS to figure out where you are in the conversation. When are they used? They are used to introduce a topic of a lecture. So for example, today we're going to talk about, they're, they're used to introduce any topic generally. They are used to explain uh, the lecture structure. So for example, I can say today's class is divided into two sessions. The first in the first session, we will be talking about signposts. In the second session, we will be watching our TED Talks. Make sense? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Uh, you can use them to finish a sentence or finish a topic or a section. In this section, we talked about signposts. In the next section, we will watch the TED Talk. So that gives you what happened before and what is going to happen. And you can see that based on these signal words or signpost words that I'm using. You can use it to start a new section. You can also use it to signal the end of a talk and sum that talk up. Make sense so far? Okay. Can you think of, actually, this is what I'm gonna do. Let's give, I'm gonna give you an example and then we'll talk a little bit more. So introducing the topic of the lectures, you can say, you can say today I'll talk about, let's start with something you should know, uh, if we're talking about transitions, we can say firstly, secondly, thirdly, moving on. Uh, another point to consider is all of these are signal words or sign, signpost words that help you move from one word to another. Okay? Cool? So if we are, well, this one's, these are things that you can use to introduce topic. These are things that you can use to explain something. So first we will look at, then we will go on. And finally, I will. These are examples of what it would look like when you are in the middle of a conversation. And I'll give you more examples. So you don't have to really worry about these ones. This is how you, how typically they would look at at the end of a sentence or at the end of the topic. And that brings us to the end of our, um, our presentation with that one. So let me show you guys. All right. So these are common linking phrases or signpost phrases that you will find in English. You will find this in your on your canvas if you want to take a look at it. So when you're talking about sequence, sequence are things that happen one after another, okay? Adding points, okay, let me backtrack a minute. These words are the things you normally use 
to move from one thing to another in a conversation. If you know what they mean and where they are in the sentence, you will know where you are in that conversation. Okay? Does that make sense? So just like a traffic sign will tell you when it's red, you know to stop. When you see first of all, or second, or third, or then, it, you know that there is more than one point that is being said. So maybe a step-by-step, -step, okay? So each of these categories has certain words that I would recommend you learn, and you learn what they mean, okay? Because this will help you move throughout the conversation, okay? So let's go through the categories and I'll tell you what the categories mean. So we won't go through every word, we'll just go through categories. Sequencing means that there's one thing after the other. Adding a point or adding points means that there is, you're talking about something, but you also want to add to it another idea. This is where th you can say things like in addition to, Moreover, additionally, furthermore, it helps you expand more on the things that you're saying. And if you pay attention in our TED Talks and in things like that, you will hear a lot of these as well. You will also hear a lot of them in conversations. Cause and effect. So one thing causes the other. For this reason, because of this, due to the lack of resources, due to um, the classroom being locked, due to whatever. So the classroom being locked resulted in the uh, cancellation of the class. Okay, so you can see one caused the other. Conclusion is the end, when you want to end a conversation. Contrast is when you're comparing and contrasting. So contrasting is two similar things. Comparison is opposite things. Introduction, you're introducing. Giving examples. Specifying is little details, like you're finding the details. Showing similarity is another category. So these are things that are similar to each other. They are equal in one way or another. Cross-reference means that you've said something before and you're now mentioning it again. So for example, you can say, sorry, as discussed in earlier sessions, we, on Thursdays, we work on vocabulary because we discussed this before. So I'm reminding you of something. And that is what a cross-reference is. You're going back to a certain point that was said before. Generalization is making something general. Emphasizing is focusing on something. Rephrasing is saying something in a different way. So for example, in other words, we don't have class on Thursday. So to say that again, right? And giving stress is focusing on something that is important. Cool? Got it? How are we feeling? Questions? Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to, I, what I want you guys to do is I want you to think of, for the next five to 10 minutes, you're going to make a list of words in your first language that match these words. And I need you to think, or you can translate these ones, something similar to these, because this will help you see where they fit in conversations. Because this is one thing that happens in every language. And the, the, knowing these things helps you, again, move inside the conversation and understand it better, okay? So by making a reference to the things that you already know and you already know how to use it, 
you will be able to listen better as a result. And if you listen better, then you can understand better. So the entire point of all of this stuff that we're doing is to give you the tools to be able to do something. That's why we focus on different skills every week. Cool? Yeah? All right, so I'm going to need you guys to do that, and then we will see where we go from there. Yeah? All right.